We're here with um, Leeds head coach Paul Whitfield. Uh, we're just going to have a look at uh, look forward to the NCL Challenge Cup Trophy game against Miller. First of all, Paul, um, how do you feel about this game? All feels a bit formal this time, man. A bit too formal for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think this weekend is going to be good. I think it's going to be it's a big game. It's a big challenge for us. Uh, obviously, they beat us a couple of weeks ago, 29-6 or 29-4, I think it was. And it was a really, really tough hit out. Uh, I think we'll be back at Bird this week. We've worked on a few things in training Tuesday, Thursday. And I think the lads will do a good job. I think they'll do a good job. I think they're better than they were last time. I think we know what's coming. Uh, and I think we'll deal with it this week. Yeah, I think it was just a build up of things. It was a long coach journey there. And then when we got there, it was a bit of time to waste. And then I think an accumulation of things just didn't go our way on, on the day, really, to be fair, did it? Yeah. No, I think it was, uh, it's our first, it was our first one trip of the season. Obviously, that's the first one we've done um, on the bank. Um, it was a long trip as well, but everything went our way on that day. You know, we, we played really well. Like I said, we got to Millum. It was a warm day. It was a big flat pitch. Um, obviously, warm up didn't go according to plan. Dean Barber dropped out with a hamstring injury. Uh, we had an injury on the Thursday night of training as well. So we had to move a few people around. So it, it didn't quite go our way. Uh, but obviously, Millum have got that this week. I think this is their first sort of two hour trip away from home, they've had a lot of games at home in the last uh, few weeks, so maybe they'll do it with a bit of like we did. Um, you, have, you, have you done any, any training this week to, to prepare for the way that Millen play, a few key players that they might have? Yeah, I think um, we read all the match reports last time and they had the two big second rows, they had the Aussie and the guy on the right hand side who was a pretty big unit and we, we shut them off and closed them down and what they did was is they turned it back inside and they hit us up the middle and we just didn't quite deal up well enough. So what we worked on this week is, is obviously uh, 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 outside defence again, coming up fast, shutting them off, but then our, our big men in the middle just working just a little bit harder. We worked on our marker play, just covering that nine, uh, and also just then turning it back inside, so we worked really hard on our, on our D. Um, yeah. And how's the, how's the team looking this week? I know that we might have a couple of players out due to holidays and stuff, how are we strong the week? We're looking really strong. We've got um, five or six regulars missing. Obviously, they've gone to Benny Dong for a weekend, um, so they're going to be enjoying themselves. But we've got tonight again, we've got no 17 game, we've got six lads away, and we still have 36 lads training. Uh, we're getting quite a lot of quality in the side now, in, in the two teams actually that we've got. Um, so we're going to be alright. We've got a put Bolly in at seven, Worthy in at six. Um, uh, Dino's back this week, Craig Wingy's back this week. Um, so yeah, we've got, we've got a good 17. We've got a good 17. Uh, Kipper, Dogger, and I, we've got a uh, choice tonight who we put on the bench. We've got six to pick from, so we'll make that decision tonight and then let everybody know what the 13 is and four on the bench. Uh, just touch on the um, start of the season we've had. We've played f uh, five games now, won four and only the one lost. How's that in your, in your mind, the start of the season? Is it, is it a good start? Could we have been better? Could we, have, we, have we gone one step further than we thought? I think, um, I think we've done really well, really well. I think that underbank game, obviously I know you came to that game, we started like an awesome player and if the last pass would have stuck, I think we'd have been 20, 24 points up within the first 20 minutes. He didn't and it ended up turning into a real battle uh, for 80 minutes uh, where we just, we just came out as a victor at the end and a moment kicked a penalty and we won with two points. Um, then we had a couple of games where we sort of stuttered and stumbled really. Our attack wasn't as good as it should be. Um, and then last week against Dewsbury, I think everything came together, everything clicked. We scored some really good tries in that second half. We completed over 80% of our sets. Uh, every, every set in good ball we completed and we come up with a try. So I think last week was a culmination of all the work we've done in training, a couple of disappointments in a couple of games we've played and everything just came together last week. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that 40, 42 lads of training every week, which is really good, we're turning two teams out. And if you look at where we were this time last season, bottom of the second division, um, no second team, you know, we're, we're, we're a million miles in terms of where we were. That game, the Millen game, was kind of the start of a big weekend for the club. Um, we're carrying on on Sunday with a, with a big fun day with over 21 teams uh, in action overall on, on every pitch that we have available here at the Sports Village. What's your thoughts on that as a, from a club perspective? Really good, yeah, really good. The Aussies are doing the uh, the barbecue. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to go naked or not by the 
kids are here, but uh, they're definitely going to be doing the barbecue and uh, there's loads of lads out around where they're, they're meeting on Wednesday night. Loads of people involved, all the parents were here. It's really good because we've, we've got that sort of one club feel really. The junior section, the senior section, everybody pulling together. So it should be a really good day on Sunday. Hopefully we'll get the weather. I think last year the weather was fantastic, which made it a brilliant yeah, day. Hopefully the weather will pick up and it will uh, it'll cry it all off. And hopefully it will be a great day for the club. We've raised quite a few a few ball for, for every team that's involved. Um, I, think that's, I think that's the main thing. I think for the open edge, like what we said this week, is uh, is giving something back to the junior section. So if we can get involved, uh, because it is about raising money for the club, and it is about getting obviously sponsors are coming down, I believe, on Sunday. Uh, we've got quite a lot of stalls, we've got raffles, we've got prizes, and we've had that many donations this week from Lee Centurions as well. We've donated a ball, a signed shirt, a match ticket, a family match ticket. So everybody's really getting behind us. Uh, it's just fantastic to see. Yeah, I think there's, there's quite a lot of local companies that we are going to give uh, a bit of press to uh, individually coming up to the Sunday uh, fun day. Um, We'd just like to say on, on camera now, just a thanks to each local company uh, on behalf of everyone at the East and uh, we will uh, hopefully build a partnership with you in the future. Um, Paul, thanks for your time. No worries. Uh, I know it's uh, a little bit of, of your, your hectic schedule <laughs> that you have. Um, we're, we're glad to have you down here and, and just pick your brains a little bit on a Thursday night after training. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. No worries.